Hey guys, and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and the last time we were here, we were trying very desperately to move everybody into the new dormitories that we have over here. We managed to do that, though we still do have a few atmospheric suit issues on the go. You can see that we're not quite producing enough oxygen, and the biggest reason behind that is that we are not quite producing enough power. So to try and deal with that, I am going to come down all the way down here, and we have got to have a look at this petroleum source that we have here uh, we are literally one step away from putting power through these to run the oil wells but I want to make sure that we are not flooded and overrun with the liquids that come out of here when that happens so having a look around here I think we can deconstruct the vast majority of things that we have over here and I would actually like to do so it is time to start clearing out this area we're not gonna be able to do, get rid of this but I think that's okay so we can uh, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just seal that up and call this the um, the flow room. This this is where we're going to make things flow underneath. It will get hot in there. That's fine. The things that are in here that can melt have already melted. Uh, the table, as you can see, will not melt until we get to 9,000 degrees. So we're just going to leave that as that. The big problem that we do have, though, is, of course, the fact that everybody cannot get out right now. Oh, look, looks like everybody has made it out. Who is stuck inside at the moment who uh, feels like they should be able to get around? Uh, let's have a look. Let's go with Jelly. If you want to come and grab this atmospheric suit down here, my friend, you can go and start start supplying uh, situate, uh, supply materials sorry, to everyone else around. Are you just going to put that straight on? Oh, there are more here as well, actually. That's not good. Okay, let's try and use that. Atmospheric suit. Dr. Captain Subs. Away you go, my friend. And uh, if there is another one there, we're also going to give it to Luna. Though we do have to wonder who it is who's not putting their suits away. How has Dr. Captain Subs ended up inside with a suit on? What? What? What's happened here? How has this even happened? Let, let's move you over there and see... I mean, you're, you're going to have to run past this. Maybe we can undock this one. I, d I don't know how we're going to do it, actually. How are we going to get Dr. Captain Subs to run past an atmospheric check suit that doesn't just end up leaving it on the floor like that? Okay, on balance, it just looks like we have an excess of atmospheric suits. That That's fine. Actually, that's fine. Okay, so we've got a little bit of problems coming over here. You can see that we've got a bunch of steam coming down. Uh, sorry, a bunch of water coming down in the pipe and turning into steam. I mean, that's kind of okay. Wasn't quite what I wanted. I believe down here somewhere we've got extract pipe content. Uh, let's have a look. F6. I just want you to dump that on the floor. Whoever's in charge of that. Let's get that out of there before it becomes a big problem, shall we? So, Forrest keeps saying he's suffocating, but I've given him an atmospheric check suit. It's just that he doesn't want to wake up. Um, I kind of I kind of get it. Also, so we are having big issues here. This is because the water down below is not ready. If I show you this, uh, we were... <clears throat> we've got gas vents in the, uh, in the toilets over here to start letting a bunch of oxygen out so we can all just kind of flush through. The problem is, if we follow that gas line all the way down here... Oh, did you see all those colours at the bottom? Oh, that's nice. Uh, if we follow those all the way down here, you can see that we are waiting on the gas production over here and we're waiting for the water to be loosed, but this actually getting close. If you see, this will trigger off when we are below 54 degrees, and if you look at the temperature of the thermosensor, 54.1, we're, we're, we're actually nearly there, but god, this is slow... So I'm starting to lay down the foundations for what I'm hoping will be a power-positive cooling device. I'm not holding my breath on that, but we've got a lot of heat coming out of here. So I'm thinking if we can keep the constant heat flow going through here, maybe we can run two steam turbines. If we can get two steam turbines running, that means that the thermal aqua tuner will be paid for. And plus about 400 extra kilowatts. If we can keep the temperature around oh, 180, 200, that's sort of the maximum efficiency for these guys to be working at so we're uh, we're, we're gonna aim for that i don't know how well it's gonna work out but that is what we're aiming for okay the time of waiting for power for oxygen is over i'm gonna build myself a self-powered oxygen machine over here you guys know it it's an electrolyzer it's a it's a pump it's a filter it's a power a gas user it, it's gonna very happily i hope use up just about the right amount and maybe if we actually go into the auto no, no we want to get the power we want to come down to the smart battery and want to use this on here as well and then we can use this to power Power all this maybe even using the same sort of system uh to pu pump power back into the the grid that that would be cool you know the system where if we got it over by the steam turbine over here this one that uh, senses how much power is in the battery and then either connects or disconnects the grid as is applicable not sure what the cypher's thoughts were he walked up into this zone bearing in mind he can't go through this door he walked up into this zone dropped his suit off and 
Now we, they can't use it because there's no ah, uh, there's no oxygen there. What is going on here? Why is why? All right, let's let the cipher back in. I don't I don't know why this is the case here. Come on, get get back inside and then let's turn that off. And I I don't know what's gonna happen. Maybe you can use this one. Let's go decipher there. I think I think this is one of the ones you can walk through. Yeah, that's one of the ones you can walk through. So maybe you can go up and across and grab that and then redistribute it somewhere. That would be pretty handy. At least no one's eating their atmospheric suit today. Given how much chlorine and how little oxygen is in this base now, I'm not sure that this is particularly the safest place for them to be sleeping, but, uh, what they're doing anyway, so I'll leave them to it, I suppose. Alright, I'm turning all the atmospheric check suits off. I just need to get this fixed. I suppose it's times like this I should be thankful for the bits of polluted dirt we've got kicking around, releasing at least some oxygen for these guys to breathe. Wow. Wow, that's that's crazy, right? So I spent a cycle without any of the atmospheric check suits on. We got about this much done of the self-powered uh, oxygen producing machine here. We have uh, put a, a ma uh, what well, we're going to put, sorry, a manual generator off the side here just to get it kick started and then we're going to take away the power. The uh, the line that I've taken out here, I've run into to this little filter over here because of course we want to try try and make sure that all the bad gases that are indeed not oxygen or chlorine get cycled out somewhere else down to this line here so that's going to work out well for us i should really try and get this gas filter here in on the self-powering we'll figure that out at some point i'm actually going to get some sort of uh, power hook up to the big big main grid going on so that that's going to be a worker Oh, we're no longer at point one. We're just at 54. I'd love to see the moment this tips under. I just I just don't think it's going to happen. I think the water is going to spill out and we're not even going to notice. It's just at some point, it's going to be 70 degrees here. and We're going to be like, what? Okay, the end of the day sees the water flowing, but you can see we've got a little bit of an issue with that water flow. Let's just see what happens here. Let's uh, speed up the day a little bit. We're down into downtime, so people are going through and using up some of the water supply on this side of the equation as well, but it doesn't. Turns out that we don't even have our pipes worth in there. I think this will work out, though, because as you can see, we are getting little spits and spurts of water as we go on. This is now making the, uh, the the atmosphere that we need. If we have a look in here, yeah, we're getting a whole bunch of hydrogen spit out and also a bunch of oxygen. Hopefully at some point that carbon dioxide will get picked up, but, you know, we'll wait and see. I do believe this has got a pipe block scenario on the go, so somehow we do also need to get the power coming down to this. If we have a look at the power situation, uh, I think we can probably just break this here. If, if it will go ahead and do this for me. Oh, that low time, that low time. Yeah, I'm going to scavenge power off this. I was going to say that, but it doesn't look like there's actually power to be scavenged. That's just the light system as well. Wow. Okay, so we've now got this hooked up. It's, it's not a great system, I've got to be honest. It comes over, jumps over the big wire there and plugs in. That's fine, that's fine. We'll figure that out at some point. Is it dry, drawing more power than it is using? Looks like it might be, though. Here comes the hydrogen into the generator to balance this out. So I hope Hopefully we're going to end up with more power than we uh, than we use up. The whole thing seems to be running right now. Let's have a look. Yeah, everything seems to be running and we are positive in power. This is great. Oh dear, I thought it might be a situation. What are you guys doing down here? You need to get out. All right, let's um let's change the directionality for now. I don't I don't know which way's in and which way's out, but we're going to move these guys up and out. We got we got to get you out of here, guys, and then we're going to close down that door. So um I think that's now both of them. Let's do this. Uh, get on out of there, guys. Get on out, and we will close this door down for the moment. Uh, I can do that, actually. And then nobody can get in until we've got the atmospheric suit sorted, because as much as this is very important, the atmospheric suits probably more so. So this is good. We've got a steady enough stream of uh, oxygen going into these that maybe these will start to fill up. That would be great, wouldn't it? Uh, also, we seem to have enough water coming through that is nicely backing its way up. We are definitely consuming uh, consuming less than we are producing, which is quite good. I'm not sure about on balance, though, whether this is going to end up dropping down or not. It'll be very interesting to see whether this... Oh, look, we've had, a, we've had a small spill. This is now up to 54.7, so it has climbed in, in temperature a little bit, but it has put the water into this system now and if we have a look do we have any yeah we do have some so as soon as that desalinates oh there it goes we are passing some oxygen off to the base beautiful not that it's going to be making a great deal of difference but let's have a look look yeah look we got little little clouds of oxygen that will eventually start pushing all of these nasty gases out of here so what i'm going to do is rip down this rust deoxidizer that is in this corridor and hopefully these two gas pumps here can actually uh, take out all the horrible gases and pass it through the waste gas uh, system uh, 
that will then mean everything gets sorted out. That, that would be great. That would be great. Have we got any ox... Uh, nothing but oxygen in here. Okay, I was kind of expecting a little bit of chlorine, but no, it's, it's, it's clean. It's pure. Beautiful. So with the lack of atmospheric suits, of course, we've had a few people getting a little bit of damage. We'll slam those pe those guys in there, Cubic and uh, Mad Frank. Miss Aligned, of course, also needs it. But, you know, she's tough. She can she can go through and she can uh, explore a little bit more. Uh, she look doesn't look like she's enjoying her life right now, though, does she? Oh, look at that. It's actually quite a bit down. That was uh, the time in the steam tank underneath. We do need to get to that, though. I'm just waiting for the oxygen to build up. Okay, overnight, we somehow ran out of power up here. Mimi's come along to try and fix the this issue. I'm going to put a little bit of automation wire in just in case it was the fact that we topped out that was causing us the problem. Uh, I don't think it will be. Oh, we are already putting down on nines. That's no good. Let's come in here and let's just turn that down a little bit. All right, cool. Um, so yeah, hopefully this will sort itself out over time and we won't need to worry about it anymore. You can see that it's actually currently uh, burning hydrogen when we don't need it because this is all like totally full here. Uh, I might even bring that down to a little bit less, like 90. Uh, that way we have a little bit of a buffer zone at the top to, uh, to burn off a little bit of hydrogen. Because, uh, of course, it could be that we are very nearly at the top and then it lets hydrogen in and then that burning that hydrogen actually burns off more than is needed. Uh, that that would not be what we want, right? Okay, I'm feeling... Uh, Frank, Frank, no, get, get back here, get back here. I'm feeling confident enough to just rip down that generator now. I think this is going to uh, gonna be able to uh, keep us going. Even if we get into a situation where it is getting quite low, you can see that we're still pumping hydrogen out, so it's just going to keep us running uh, quite nicely, I think. If we ever get to a point where it's actually not causing us to carry on moving forwards then I will probably cut this wire actually uh, and try and figure out if we can put more of these in a row or something like that and then we can get them powering their own little filtration system as well uh, if we're doing a bunch of these in fact we don't even need that many gas filters uh, further down these were only here because the rust the oxidizers but each needed chlorine though now that I've stop and think about it we probably could have done just a single one each it's no problem uh, either way i was trying to uh, keep the airflow pretty strong and constant for each of these though because as we know from down here one gas pipe is not enough to feed all of these but we've spent so long playing around with stuff up there that actually we've got our dormancy ending with this gas geyser down here it says 85 seconds but every time i uh click and move away it'll say something different okay so it looks like actually that manual generator is still kind of needed which is a bit of a shame actually i really thought this was going to be something oh wait here we go it's up here i uh, thought this would be something that could just survive on its own it's got to be this second gas filter right we've got to try and figure out a way of dealing with that that's the water not the gases no cubic what are you doing okay you're dealing with uh, these guys over here i kind of understand it it's fine. But the main event of this five minutes is waiting for the geyser to erupt. Okay, so the geyser is now erupting. We're getting a whole bunch of natural gas, but of course this element center here is waiting to fill natural gas. So let's uh, put down and see if this is going to actually push its way down there. I don't know which one's actually heavier, chlorine or natural gas. I think they're actually about equivalent. The same as like carbon dioxide, right? All these three kind of weigh about the same. Uh, in fact, shall we uh, have a look? Natural gas, does it give us a density here anywhere? It doesn't look like it does. Maybe I'm missing something, but yeah, it doesn't look like I, it says anywhere. It does say it will turn into a, a methane liquid, but yeah, no, no, no gas uh, density written there. How about chlorine? Let's have a look. Doesn't seem to be here either. Same information that we've got down the bottom. How about down here? Condensation point, specific heat. Yeah, we've got some mass, but the mass doesn't really tell us much about the density. It just tells us how much is in that tile, which I suppose we could use uh, to figure out density, but nah, not quite. Okay, looks like we are very close to getting the red signal here, the green signal here. That will turn this manual generator on, which will give a kick of power to the system everything should turn on we're gonna have to flush a bit of chlorine out of the system first but then the uh, the natural gas will get to the generators and that should help everything uh, get some more power going i'm a little disappointed that we've not quite there we go got it follow following through like that so now this there should be an errand we've got forest or mimi or captain subs or mad frank all ready to go for the next uh next job uh, and it's gonna be mimi uh, i hope that she has got uh, let's have a look over here uh, enough heat protection to be able to deal with it uh, their obviously lack of atmospheric suits at the moment it is actually quite warm down here 60 or 70 degrees going through the water probably really did not help I'm going to see if I can mop some of this up uh, a lot of it down here is just too much too much to be going but if we have a look at the F7 we've got gases flowing not only do we actually have some cool gases over here though they're not going to be very cool right now they're quite cool at the top but uh, not really 
absolutely flowing. It's gonna gonna help chill it all down. That's the main problem, the main thing anyway. Uh, the gas is coming out of here can get uh, quite warm, and obviously this means we don't want them, don't want this gas pump overheating at 75 degrees. Maybe if we could get uh, an upgrade in the uh, upgrade in the metal type, maybe that would work. An iron ore gas pump. I wonder if we've got, in fact, ventilation gas pump. We've got enough gold amalgam. We could totally override that. Just just for a safety buffer, really. It's not it's not even going to do that much. Definitely think this way of wiring it up I've got is much better. Rather than trying to split the flow like I have up in these ones, let's have a look. You can see how I've gone with a, a T-junction in between each of my gas pumps here. And this has had the uh, the the side effect of trying to share them all out equally. I don't think that's what we want to be doing. I think we want to be trying to fully charge the first ones and then the secondary ones fire up as and when they're needed. I think that's a much better way of doing it. Take that through to your game play if you like. Okay, I think I'm going to let them run for at least one cycle without these uh, atmospheric check suits turning back on. This is turning over quite nicely, but more importantly, they are emptying out all of the rubbish that is in here. So I am actually all about leaving them to do that. Uh, there will be a whole bunch of food and stuff like that that needs to come over towards the actual main base where the cooking can happen. But uh, yeah, mostly just tidying up. I've even gone ahead and put myself a whole bunch new of these down here. Hopefully there's no clothes selected beautiful beautiful that should now mean that all of the materials can be put away somewhere and hopefully we don't have to do too much of this yeah <laughs> Okay, so now that this one has been fully filled up, this should start to back up, hopefully. Yeah, you can see that it's starting to uh, start to form up in the pipe. I'm wondering whether we want to do a little bit of a sharing service now. Um, and by sharing, I mean we're going to be paying it forwards all the time. And I think that will work out well for us in the long run. There are some short-term problems to be overcome. But if we do this, this, and this, this should now pass all the oxygen that comes out of here down towards the front. And then when this is filled up, it will then start backing this one up and so on and such forth. Uh, new oxygen being added on each sta station from all of the uh, the chlorine oxygenators here. Uh, it should work out well for us, I am hoping. Okay, so now we've got all the gases flowing. It should be a case of this one fills up very quickly. Let's have a look and see how much we are missing out here. You can see uh, 150, give or take. You know, that's good enough. It's going to take a maybe quarter of a cycle to fill that up, at which point it will start backing up. Let's uh, let's speed up the time and go through this pretty quickly because, of course, all the duplicates are going to go around and do a whole bunch of work. Oh, Mimi over there is uh, making sure this works out pretty well for us. Carries on running. Oh, look, we are getting a little bit of, of leakage going through to the bottom there. That's pretty cool, pretty cool. That must just be happening when we are getting some extra power in from these guys. I'm all about it. Uh, 189, 190. Come on, guys. We can do it. I want to see that, that gas start to back up in the pipes so that when it then starts backing up all the way to this bridge here. Any moment now. Oh, no. Does this mean that this one also needed a little bit of oxygen? Or well, just a little bit. It wasn't a great deal. It was enough to uh, start eating up the line. Okay. And then it goes backwards and comes down here. You can see we've got a little bit of storage space. Uh, it's literally just the one gas uh, bubble there there um so that that's going to be a little bit of a filter i suppose it would have been smart to do that on each of them but you know here we are we're in this situation and it looks like actually this is going to work out pretty well for us it's coming in at quite a rate so the first thing i want to be able to do is of course to enable that building there we want to enable the one furthest down the line and see how it works out for us okay so there we go that should now um allow our duplicates when they come in and out to pick up extra suits of course this is just a forest and legit so we're waiting on those guys to come in and out before they start using the checkpoint uh, down below we got ourselves enough oxygen flowing into these next ones that i'm relatively confident that it's going to work out quite well for us i was wondering where that gas was going to but it turns out that it is indeed being delivered i wonder what actually did happen to it there who knows who knows okay so this is filling up the suit more than it is filling up the atmospheric checkpoint uh but that is no problem yet there we go the suit is full what are we having problems with here scolding luna um why are you inside here I actually have no idea. We've got some, maybe I was fixing something. I don't know. Okay, well, we'll we'll let that be for now. Just 
Luna, please. I, <clears throat> excuse me. A little clear of my throat there. Uh, I also feel like maybe Forest and... Uh, oh, I was thinking that maybe Cubic actually needed some healing, but it turns out no. Legit going off to do the important jobs here. Uh, the, these were the dangerous ones that I was worried about, but there we go. Got the boys in doing it. Delivering some Phosphorus up. Cubic also. This is why I thought Cubic would have a little bit of troubles. Okay, so that's worked out pretty well as well. The next thing I want to do, of course, is to turn this one on. Is this the one with Cubic? Yeah, all right, cool. Maybe we will allow him to have a little bit of protection when he's going around and doing all the farming, because that would be helpful, right? All right, next day we get ourselves a little bit of a safe stall, but we're going through to see when these guys are going to be using their equipment here. It looks like, there we go, legit, and maybe Forrest at some point. Has Forrest already made his escape? Did Forrest not make it back to not last night? I don't know. Oh, there he is. Okay, cool. Ooh, he was just using someone else's bathroom. I suppose that's fine. Ah, Cubic, please. All right, let's move Cubic. Come on, man, come on. I think you need to come this side of here, and that should be all right to get you into an atmospheric check suit. All right, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, we've just seen someone go ahead and put the uh, the check suit there. That did indeed pull out some of the uh, back stores here, but it's worked out quite well, and we're back to filling in the gases. Okay, so, yeah, I think that's going to work out pretty well for us, actually. All in all, going quite well. Do Jupicans wear their suits when they're in a triage cot? time to find out yes okay probably the most important check suit that we want to turn on is of course this one i'm going to turn them all on now we're going to see what's going on you can see we've got some bit of oxygen coming in here uh, it's going up about i don't know point uh, not point one it's going up about a kilo every three seconds or so give or take uh, i don't know if that's enough to completely uh refill everything that's going on here from these few few bits of oxygen that we have coming out here but i'm, I'm hoping so i'm hoping so of course, very important that the building crew get their atmospheric suits on because I want to come all the way down here and uh, make this approachable again. We need to get this up and running and we need to get it up and running pretty sharpish. Even though now this second natural gas geyser is also firing up and away. So we should be back into power positive. Maybe should be. We'll, we'll see. Oh, I've just realized I've probably made a terrible mistake. So these guys are down here digging away. But of course, this crude oil might be a little bit over pressure. Ah, uh, well, I suppose we're going to be okay because we did want to get a little bit of crude oil in. Ah, oh, this is not a little bit of crude oil. This is a lot of crude oil. All right, we'll, we'll try and do something with this. I'm kind of tempted to actually go ahead and go uh, plumbing a bottle emptier. This might take up a lot of someone's time, but you know what? I think we're fine with it. Is this actually going to go ahead and fill right over the top of everything? Can we put it in here? We can kind of do this. Let's, let's try that. I, I've got a feeling it's not going to work quite as well as I want it to, but let's try this. Hopefully this will get built uh, with the top possible priorities here. Um, but why else would why, why wouldn't they you know it's uh, the materials that i've asked to be put down and then we can start uh, auto bottling from here why can't people go through here this is an un there we go that's why uh, it's a uh, unreachable dig that's that's a bit unfortunate so that should now hopefully make that a little bit better waiting for the errands to be done on this mad frank totally a little bit behind on that if i pop it up to number one jelly is also pretty good up on there forest coming down to make the builds all right beautiful this should hopefully hopefully lead us to being able to get rid of some of this and as long as this trend holds it looks like we've actually got enough oxygen to deal with all the atmospheric suits yay <laughs> Okay, the end of the day arrives, and I found out today that we are disastrously low of gold amalgam, but more importantly, I want to see how this oxygen flow uh, doth hold up today. So we've gone ahead and emptied out all that wire. Oh no, what's going on over here? Why isn't this being taken care of? We're at zero, and it's the highest priority. Why has no one done it? If I just uh, do this, maybe someone can come along and uh, give it a little bit of a kickstart here. Sometimes this does happen. It's not perfectly balanced, and I'm going to have to figure out why. I mean, we all know it's this gas filter here, so we're going to have to try and sort that out really we could be running this off of the main power now though couldn't we let's uh let's actually think about that let's go power wise uh let's get rid of these uh let's do it in the in this overlay actually let's just keep going uh, it's gonna want us to hopefully not get rid of the heavy watt wire in between it doesn't have a deconstruct there that's pretty good and uh, then i can go ahead and do hey power can we have a bit of heavy watt wire across there okay beautiful beautiful i have got this on super high priority i don't want it on super high priority i just want it on fairly high priority why are you overloading you, you're not part of the... Ah, it does think it's part of the same system now. Okay, that's a little bit unfortunate. Totally not what I wanted. I don't even know if I can get someone in to have a look at it now. Uh, it's not allowed by schedule. How about if we just 
do that and it shouldn't actually connect them all up now anymore ah it's all connected okay okay we need to uh red alert it's been a while but uh here we go all right conductive wire deconstruct not a uh, top top priority top priority go go deal with it guys you've got to go deal with it and you've got to do it right now thank you Okay, right, that'll do. Thank you very much. You can go to sleep now, guys. Go to sleep. Oh, they didn't all get to sleep before night, uh, before daytime came in. I'm going to be receiving complaints about this. <laughs> okay, about a third of the way through the cycle, we've got this oxygen backing up. This one is very close to being able to back up. You can see we've got 200 there, 174 there, and 163. And then this one's also going. Ah, we. I think we fixed it, guys. I think we fixed it. Ah, lack of power. So obviously the smart way of doing it would have been to break in from this side and let it all drain out into the hot area. Hmm, yes. <laughs> okay, here comes maybe to let it all through. I notice mainly the heat is going through and all this um, crude oil is being turned into petroleum. Nice, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, pitch pump, very bad idea. Look, it's, ju it's just overheating the whole time. This this place here is like 180 and the overheat temperature. Doesn't that... 90. 90. Oh, legit's at it today. Well, can we move you over there? Is that all right? Can you just go do whatever it is you want to do? A lot of people falling asleep. That is because, of course, we got up last night to uh, try and fix the power issue. Hopefully, full night in the dorms will leave them fully rested. Uh, the, the people falling asleep on the floor and literally in the dormitories because they're too exhausted to even make it to their actual bed. Kind of embarrassing, but with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time when we're actually going to be working on this. Got, the, got, got it started, so we're going to be carrying on with it. We need to get up and we need to get ourselves some more gold from up top, but I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.